Were you live? No, we're live. <laughs> right now. Has somebody said that the first 30 right seconds now. of our live show is always us being like, are we live? <laughs> we did it. Okay, so quick question for everybody. How do we look and how do we sound? Because yeah. we are finally on a better camera. And yeah. I hope it's, that you can see us better. Hopefully you can see the mail better when we get to the mail. It's really like pushing the computer to the limits. Oh no, Which is, is exciting. Gonna... We'll see what happens. Barbara said that we look and sound great. Excellent. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Hello. Hi, Peyton and Aiden and Leah and Kimberly and Janelle and Peter and Hannah. Oh, my goodness. It's going by so quick. Yeah. And so now, when, <laughs> finally, when we hold up mail, it'll be like this. Oh, yeah. It'll finally focus. Well, look at that. I wish that we had done this sooner because we had so many things to show you in focus and none of them were in focus. Well, it wasn't It wasn't that we weren't trying to do this earlier. No, it the wasn't thing available. The was out of stock. Yeah, because everybody, everybody was doing um, like Zoom calls and Zoom meetings and stuff like that. So the this thing that we're using was always out of stock. Yeah. Oh, Jack and said great camera. <clears throat> this is the uh, Sony A6600 pumping through the Elgato Gaming cam link 4k yeah so we are actually at 60 frames 1080p whereas before we were at uh like, 30 frames 720 it so. was so bad um brianna or brianna i'm not sure um said that was wondering if we were going to do a baby like favorites video and yes so that's something that i'm going to do on my channel i hope to film my video finally um, yeah we were supposed to film it yesterday but we didn't. I know. I'm sorry. Sometimes it just gets hard with having a baby and it's just, you get tired. I feel yeah. like, I know that sounds like such a cop out, but there are times where at the end of the day, we just, we make dinner and I'm like, I just want to sit down because we, we make dinner, the baby goes to sleep and I'm just like, I just kind of want to sit down and like hang out with you and spend time with you. And, and then it's by the time, then it's time for bed. <laughs> so, yeah. um, I will put up a video though. I'm sorry about that. Somebody said, why aren't you at Disney today? Because it's uh, oh, it for cast, cast member. members. Yeah. So but soon Disney's going to open. I just think that's so, like, I still can't believe it. Yeah. Right now I'm scheduled to go on Thursday. So like two days. Yeah. So this is actually, um, so a lot of you saw that we took Sunday off. And we took Sunday off because we knew that we were going to have kind of like a busy week as far as um, park videos. So we... Um, I'm sorry we didn't let you guys know that we took the day off, but we did. Obviously, we took the day off. But um, we're going to have a lot of fun stuff for you soon. Yeah. Which is exciting. Oh, somebody said, you got a new camera? Sort of. We were just <laughs> using a camera that we already had in a different way. Yeah. So, yeah, it should be much better. Yeah. How does it look? Like, a lot of you were saying that it looks really clear. Um Oh, we can show them the camera that we used to use. Let's grab that one off the table oh, right yeah, there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I feel like they saw it. Oh, no, I guess you didn't actually ever see it. You just... Yeah, this yeah. is what we were using before. So it was literally like a... Uh, it's my face. Sorry. Like an old school webcam. <laughs> um, not much different. Really? Scott said it doesn't look very different. I feel like I can tell a difference in the... In this, our little monitor. Yeah. I think it makes more of a difference when we try to show things up close, like our hands or like our mail or whatever. Yeah. Video looks great. Um, what's for dinner tonight? That's a good question. Good question. I don't know. Our box is supposed to be coming today. Yeah. Oh, someone said that we're not as like white as we were. So before we were really... Like washed um, out. Washed out. Yeah. So everything was very bright. And I think it does look not as bright, which is nice. Yeah. Skin tones look way more natural. Sweet. Um, hi, Disney Dreams. Oh, yeah. See, Leslie said that I don't look as washed out this time, which that was pretty much like what we were going for. I always looked so washed out next to you because you're so tan now from going to the parks. Oh, yeah. Um, That's the only problem is like if I lean forward, it's like what? focused on me and not on you or on you and not on me. Oh, gotcha. Blue shirt is popping. Oh, yeah. That's your I didn't notice shirt. that it was off center. Oh, is it? Do you see that? Oh, yeah. Like the design is off center on my huh. body. Oh no. That's weird. Um, oh well. <laughs> I love your headband. Oh, thank you. So these are um, the headbands I've been wearing are from an Etsy shop called Rarity by Casey. We've gotten so many questions about them. Um, you can find them on Instagram under Rarity by Casey as well. 
and she makes masks. We've been wearing her masks. Um, the Lilo and Stitch one. Yeah. And I have one. I don't think you guys have seen it, but it has like gems on it, like crystals on it. Um, Not like like actual gems. No, like, like a, it's a, a picture, like a painting yeah. of gems. The print is like, um, you oh, know. Somebody what? said, have you heard what Harry Styles is doing? And actually, oh. yes, we read your, I think you sent me an email. What is he doing? Uh, he's reading like a, a children's story. Oh, one is day. he? Yeah. Where? When? Uh, I'll have to look. They sent us a message on Instagram. Oh, I haven't seen it. I'm sorry. I don't really check my Instagram messages very much. I need to check them. I'm sorry. I'm sure a lot of you have let, left us messages. Um, you can oh, yeah. eat at Boathouse soon. I want we to. We might get some takeout. Yeah. Um, yeah, we should let Jackson listen to Harry Styles read him a story. Yeah. I would love that. Um, hello from Puerto Rico. Hello. Hi, David. What Disney park will you go to this week? I'm going to two Disney parks this week. Yeah. I can't stop staring at Tim's shirt. Oh, no, because you pointed out that it's off-center. It's off-center, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. This is the first time that I've noticed that. It's very strange. Yeah. Still a cool shirt, but why is it off-center? I don't know. That is... I've never... No I've literally never noticed I've worn that. this shirt so many times, yeah. and I've never noticed it. Alex said, Hubert Humpledink. <laughs> Hubert Humpledink. <laughs> um, did we paint yet? We did paint, yes. I think... You know what's funny is that it didn't turn out exactly as I thought it would. The color is a little bit... It almost looks more purple. Oh, okay. Because the light in the bathroom, we need to change the light in the bathroom. The, uh, like, it's funny how a light being more on the warm side can change the whole look of a room. Yeah. And so the new lighting that we got is more, like, the, the covers are clear. Yeah. So it won't be as yellow, right? Shouldn't be, because I didn't get amber glass. They're still warm bulbs. bulbs okay. Because those are, like, the, the daylight ones hurt my eyes. Oh, okay, gotcha. They're too blue. Yeah, but I can I can always get daylight ones. Um, somebody asked if we're gonna go to Bull and the Bear soon, and I don't know if we are because they don't have any outdoor seating. Maybe we could try to get takeout from Bull and Bear. Is that uh, a thing that they do? I don't know because it's such an experience. Like it's such a. I don't know that they're open yet. I thought they were because they sent us that thing. I think they were saying we hope to welcome you back soon. Oh, was it okay? Yeah, actually, we could probably check. Yeah. Hi, Harrison. Hi Hello, from England. Harrison. Hello, Grace from England. Uh, what am I looking at? Bull and Bear. Hi, Blair. Hi to Katie. When are you going to go to Volcano Bay? So um, we answer this in, I think, every... What does it say? Close? It says it opens at 6. Yeah, see, I thought they were closed. Or open, I mean. Um, but I think we answer this in a lot of these live shows that the water parks are a little bit tough right now because you don't have to wear a mask when you are... There's a lot of the day where you don't have to wear a mask. Right. And that is, like, worrisome. Yeah. So. It's, and I know it's outside, but I don't know. Well, the, know, lines, just... the lines that I've seen, though, like, people are not Oh, social. I wouldn't go in the water. Yeah. I would just walk around the park. So that might not be a very fun video. I yeah. don't know. I don't know. Um, what does my necklace say? So my necklace, um, this is what Tim got for me after Jackson was born. And it is Jackson's name in Morse code. So it's like the little dots and dashes, and it says, I don't know if you could see it. You probably can't. No, if you get way up there, yeah. If you took it off, we could hold it up and show it. But you can kind of tell that there's something on it. <laughs> um, but I love this necklace so much. That's really funny. Somebody oh, mentioned... Wait. The story that Harry is reading is called Lewis the Fish. Lewis the Fish. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Lewis the Fish, which inspired the... A4, A4 You music video? Oh, Adore You, probably. Adore You. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Somebody says they're watching a live stream of Magic Kingdom and they've seen two gator masks. So oh, have they? That's a good sign. Yeah, that's really good. Um, I'd stay out of water parks too. Yeah, see. It's just the water parks are such a. There's too many variables, I think. Beach video, yes. Oh, I yeah. want to do a beach video real bad. Me too. Oh, hi, Tiffany Ann. I'm just not sure. Like, we have to get, we have to figure out how to, t we've never taken Jackson to the beach, and I'm sure that there's, like, extra steps to that. I am a little bit nervous about it because of the heat. So I would want to make sure that we have a way to get out of the heat. Right. Because he's not... Well, we have, like, tents and stuff that we yeah. can set up, but, like, I think we would need, like, multiple fans. Yeah. And, like, ice packs and stuff to, like, blow, like, the fans over top of the ice packs to, like, 
have yeah. cool air on him. I think it would Maybe be... Maybe we're a little bit, like, intense when it comes to this stuff. Yeah. But, like... We might... <laughs> I think that's something we'll have to really think about, but I would like to do it. Jackson does have two little teeth. Um, get a baby cave. What's I, that? I feel like we have what would be considered a baby cave. So our tent is, like, we have a pop-up tent that looks like... It kind of looks like a cave. Yeah, it's yeah. like a like half of a shell, like a band shell almost, and it's got like vents where you can open it up and let yeah. cool air breeze through. And then we have those um, UV oh, the, umbrellas and stuff. Yeah. How are Jackson's little teeth? Um, they're good, actually. He's like, he's. I think that they have pushed full, th like pushed through fully. Yeah. So he's because he. For a couple of weeks there, we were really having a hard time with his like sleeping and he was just kind of irritable all throughout the day, which is why you didn't see him as much in some of the videos during the day. Cause it was just, he was, his teeth were just hurting him, I think. And we didn't want to, I don't know. We just, Oh, well. somebody said brain eating amoeba in Florida. So oh. brain eating amoebas are interesting. We've known like being from Florida, it's a thing that you know about for your entire life. So it's usually like lakes though. It's in fresh water yeah. and it's near the bottom. So I used to go swimming in lakes all the time. Yeah. And the thing that we knew not to do was dive to the bottom. Well, like stir up the bottom. Yeah, at close to shore. Yeah. So once you get out about like eight feet, they're not there anymore. So mm -hmm. like when the water's eight feet down, like you could swim down to eight feet underwater there. Um, but close to shore where the water's warm, yeah. that's where they are. Yeah. So, <laughs> but not in the ocean. There are other amoeba in the ocean, but not brain-eating yeah. ones. Do they really eat your brains? Yeah. No. Um, hello from Scotland. Hello. Are you planning to make a new video for your personal channel? Um, Cassidy, yes, I am planning on making... I've been trying to make a video for my channel for a little bit, and I think that a lot of it was because Jackson was teething. It was just hard. I would just want to, like, not do anything at night. I would just want to, like, hang out and relax at night when he went to sleep because he was just... It was tough. It was tough when he was teething. Um, so I'm going to work on that. I'm going to yes. work on making my video. Um, I've been watching you for a long time. Thank you, Nick. Oh, yeah, I recognize your name, Nick. How will Jackson's solid food be? I don't... What? How will it be... I don't know. Like, what is he eating right now? I don't think I'd be swimming in the lakes anyways with gators. Uh, oh, well... Yeah, we know what lakes have gators in them and which ones don't. Mm -hmm. So... There are, like, certain lakes that you can go in that you won't oh, see gators. So, wait, Harry Styles is reading the story on the Calm app. What's that? That's the... Calm. Oh, yeah, the Calm I didn't, app. I didn't realize that. I thought he was just reading it, like, on Twitter or something. Okay. I thought that the Calm app was a scam because it's always, like, you know, okay. So, we play these games on our phone, right? Everybody has games on their you phone. You play games on your phone. Well, everybody has games on their phone, right? <laughs> And everybody gets that app for Gardenscapes. And you're like, oh, Gardenscapes look fun. And then you download right. it and it's not that. Right. It's that's like a totally thought, different game. That's what I thought Calm was. I thought Calm was like a, a, a scam. Right. You know? Well, it's not. Harry Styles is going to be reading a story on it. <laughs> so um, Katie asked how we feel about Splash Mountain. So the last live show that we did, or the one before that, one of the last live shows that we did, we talked all about Splash Mountain. So if you go back to our... I think it was the second to last live show. Um, we you can rewatch that, and we I think the first like thirty minutes of that is where we talk about it. So, yeah. hi to Oliver and hi to Derek. Calm is not a scam. Okay, good. So we need to get it. I think. Um. Jared made it to a live show. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Uh, Gardenscapes is still fun. <laughs> yeah, but it's not as fun as the ad makes it look. You know what I mean? The ads are really weird. Um, Hamilton was amazing. Tim is still listening to... Listen to the mixtape. Yeah. Somebody said, do you like Anna Maria Island? Yes. We love it. So that's um, our very, like, our favorite Florida beach. And we've been there multiple times um, for, like, just little vacations. Mm -hmm. The last time that we went, we stayed for a week. And we made a video um, just about our time there. And we stayed at this really like beautiful house on the beach and it had a pool. It was so great. And we want to go back. We should do that again. We should rent a house out there because huh. we can bring the baby. And when we went the last time, we brought Bandit with us. And it was so awesome to be able to have him. Yeah. When do you think Disney will get new monorails? <laughs> yeah. Well, nowadays. I know. Who knows? I feel like they'll never get them. 
Have you ever thought about RVing? Yes. I feel like um, that would be like, I don't know. Where would we go? Just any, everywhere, anywhere? Yeah, Grand Canyon. Okay. Why not? Yeah. Um. <clears throat> um. Hi from Hilton Head. Hello. Hello. Can you guys do a magic band haul? It's not really that exciting. We have... Well, we have some that are... We have some special ones, but yeah. like maybe out of all of our magic bands, there's like four or five special ones. Yeah. The rest are just like plain color magic bands. Yeah. We don't have as many limited edition ones. Um, second favorite Disney character. Second favorite Disney character. I don't know. Second favorite... My second favorite. Steve the Egyptian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know what mine would be. What would mine be? Maybe Ariel? I'm not sure. Um, um, no stretching room right now at Haunted Mansion. Yeah, the lights are actually on in there, which is interesting. They are? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why? Well, to let you know, don't stop here. Wow, okay. Yeah, and there's like partitions everywhere. No park to park transportation. That makes sense. Well, there wasn't. <clears throat> was there ever park? Yeah. Well, it was like the monorail, that kind of stuff, which makes sense. Right. The thing that I um, heard that was the most ridiculous. So if you're staying at Contemporary right now, the walkway between Contemporary and Magic Kingdom is closed. Yeah. So you have to take a bus from Contemporary to Ticket and Transportation, then get on ferry boat, monorail, or bus back over to Magic Kingdom. Why? I don't know. Huh. Seems like they should just be like, bloop. Yeah. That is not magical. Yeah, I think that it's not going to be as magical as it has been in the past, but I think it's a little bit of give and take. Right. Because if you want the parks to be open, you have to take away some of the magic for the moment. So it's just a little bit of a compromise. It's not going to be the same for a little bit. Yeah, no, it's definitely not. Like, yeah. After seeing different pictures and videos and stuff from today, when... Uh, at the cast member previews, completely different park now. Mm. They've got like characters driving around on trolley cars in boats. Yeah. Like at Animal Kingdom, they're on like the lagoon in boats. Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh, wow. And then in Magic Kingdom, they have, they don't advertise when they are so that you don't have people lining up for a parade, but they have these little cavalcades that are just like short parades. Oh, well, that's nice that they're doing that. Yeah. Um, are you nervous to go back? I feel pretty okay about going back to Disney. The main thing that I'm concerned about is I don't know how many people are going to be there. I don't know what the crowd level is going to be like. Yeah. But as far as like everybody has to wear a mask, they're taking it seriously. All of the cast members are wearing like close contact cast members are wearing masks and face shields. Oh, that's good. You have to use sanitizer before getting on every ride. Um, they're wiping down every ride every 20 minutes. Oh, are they? Okay. Yeah. And what was the other thing? Oh, they're doing temperature checks. They've changed bag check. They're using, at Animal Kingdom, they're using a, uh, like an experimental kind where you don't take anything out of your bag. Yeah. And you just walk through. And then at Magic Kingdom, you take all of your metal objects out of your bag and put them in a clear plastic bag that they're providing and put that for them to look at. Oh, okay. Well, that, that uh, makes me feel like, a little bit better. Yeah. Because that was something that I was worried about for people who are, um, like, bringing kids, which I wouldn't bring Jackson for a while. Like, I don't, we don't plan on bringing him for, a, like, a long time. But um, when you have to go through, like, a diaper bag, that's what worried me. Or, like, a like the kids bag, you know what I mean? Where they have to, like, literally go through a bunch of tiny things. Yeah. I was like, how are they going to do that? So the that sounds like they're they have it figured out. Somebody said they've seen people taking off their masks already in live streams. And hopefully that's Ooh. just in the uh, the areas, the relaxation areas. Do they have those? They have those, okay. yeah. Okay. That scares me, though. Um, I keep seeing people asking about the headband still. So the this headband is from Rarity by Casey on Instagram and Etsy. And we also have her masks, and we, um, we really like her stuff a lot. She has great, great shop. Um, so... Should we do the mail? Sure. Do I have any lounge fly backpacks? I do. I have two. Um, one is a Marie one. I think it's Marie. Is that a lounge fly backpack? No. The one that has like Marie with like the little milk thing? Yeah, it's not. Oh, it's not? Uh-uh. It looks like a lounge fly backpack. Yeah, but it's like, like a softer backpack. Okay. 
Because hmm. you know how like the lounge fly backpacks are like hard and small. This one's a little bit bigger. It's like about you know yay big. Yeah. And it's softer. I'll have to show it in a in a home blog one time. Yeah. And then the other one we have is just like a backpack, like a school backpack. Yeah. And it's um, the Peter Pan like the Neverland map. It's really cool. I got it on sale at um, Hot Topic. Uh, okay, so the mail. We didn't. Kelly asked if we finished Unsolved Mysteries. We did not. We we watched the UFO one. Yeah, we skipped the third one. Um, we're gonna no. go back to that one. We skipped the fifth and the seventh one. Oh, did we? Yeah. We skipped one to watch the UFO one because I was like, "Ooh, UFOs!" I didn't know there was one about UFOs. So we're gonna go back to the last one that we skipped, and then we have one more after that. Yeah. But um, I really like it. It's very creepy. Okay, so... No temperature checks in cast member preview today. Oh, really? Really? I thought I saw the, the the tents and everything were up. I guess I didn't see anybody actually getting the... Uh, oh, when do you think a vaccine... Or uh, when do you think a vaccine will be out? I don't know. There's a lot of people working on vaccines right now. And hopefully one will be out sometime mid-next year. You go to Discovery Cove. I went and they have complimentary masks and it was so much fun. Oh. We want to go because they're offering like 20% off to yeah. Florida residents right now. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, so um, we got a, in this box, there's a few postcards and letters that we haven't opened yet. So I wanted to show those, but we got this one, the Amazing Spider-Man. Look at that camera. Look how clear it is. Um, this is from, I think, Reiko is what it says. <clears throat> they put the, the little postal stamp over it, so it's hard to read it. Yeah, like Rico. And they said, found your channel recently, and I fell in love with you both. Keep up the good work, and your baby is very blessed. Thank you. Thank you so much. They're from Bradenton, Florida. So thank you. We appreciate that. And then... Oh, yeah, the line for Splash Mountain merch was crazy. Where was that? Uh, it's Splash Mountain. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, this one is from Charlie. It's like a retro Halloween one. The problem with Sony cameras is I have it set to face priority, so it's yeah. like if I if my eyes are in the shot, it like focuses on me. <laughs> right. Um. So this is from Charlie. Just wanted to write a quick note to tell you how much I loved your videos since I discovered them a few months ago. My dad and I text about your videos, which is great because I moved across the country alone. So many, so having your, you two to catch up with is very comforting. You both seem like amazing parents. Good luck. Well, thank you. You're kind people and you will make, oh, and you'll make amazing parents. Um, and thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Charlie. That's very sweet. We really appreciate that. This is actually a really cool postcard, though. I like this. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's like a retro. It kind of reminds me of Horror Nights when they had the kids. Like, they, were, oh, yeah. they weren't they were kids. They were just um, regular people, like reg like adults that were, like, shorter, that were dressed as kids. And they were... Um, uh, oh, I have to dab to hide from the camera. Oh, no. Oh, Lisa said that the Rarity by Casey Etsy shop doesn't have any merch. So, yeah, you have to go to her Instagram. And then she does... Um, uh, she like opens the store at yeah, certain times. Yeah, her store isn't always open, and I think that's just to keep up with orders. But if you can get into one of her shop openings, um, she has a lot of really great stuff. Somebody said, so. "Why doesn't Tim read some of the messages?" Are you talking about the the letters? Because I'm bad at reading. No. I think. <laughs> no. Um, okay, really quick. So this one is from Paula and Pam. And they said, congratulations on your impending delivery. I've been following your journey. I've never had kids of my own. I live vicariously through friends, and I love what you've done to the nursery. Enclosed is my attempt at the Mickey pumpkin like Jen carved in October. I think it's. I think yours turned out really well. Uh, yeah, hers is really good. I think that's one of those pumpkins that's like a forever pumpkin. Yeah. <clears throat> All it, of it is. Even the small ones are. Oh, yeah. It looks really nice. Um, I live in Washington, D.C., and my sister and I have been to Disney a few times. We stay in a different hotel each time, and last February they stayed at the Art of Animation. They took, oh, they did the Caring for Giants tour at Animal oh, Kingdom. Neat. We've always wanted to do that. And they're due for another adventure. They want to go on a Disney cruise. 
Me too. But... And they said, we'll see you on the home screen in a home vlog. Um, so thank you so much to Paula and Pam. Somebody said that uh, Rarity by Casey's Etsy is closed, but it looks like she's opening a, spot, st a Shopify. Oh, so okay. That's good. I don't know what that is. It's just like a website where you can buy stuff. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. This one is from... It says, may his days be bright with wonder. May his nights be warm with love. May his life be filled with happiness and blessings from above. That's very cute. Thank you. Oh, it's midnight, Japan. Sorry. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, they said they're watching and it's midnight in Japan. Wow. Sorry, I didn't mean to kick the camera. Um, when will you go to the P.O. Box again? So our P.O. Box is currently closed and um, we're not really going to the mailbox because of the pandemic. So please don't mail anything. It is closed. Um, this is mail that we have not opened from years past. So that's this isn't current mail. We just didn't want to confuse anybody. Did you put that the mailbox was closed in the title? Yeah. You did? Okay. But it is closed. I'm sorry about that. Um, so this one is from Rose, John, Josie, Christine. Rose, John, Josie, and Christine. They said they love our vlogs. Best of luck with the baby. And we hope to run into you at Walt Disney World someday. Well, thank you so much. This is very sweet. We really appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. That's a very nice card. Oh, geez. Oh, no. It's almost the last of the mail. Yeah, we have... The, I feel like we probably won't get through all of it today. Um, definitely soon. We, we're going to try. Okay, so this... 4 a.m. in Wales. Oh, wow. That doesn't make any sense. 4 a.m.? 4 p.m.? Oh, okay. They said 4 a.m. Oh, no. But that's... <laughs> 4 p.m. <laughs> makes more sense. Okay, so um, this one is from Dwayne and Stacy. And they said, My husband, Dwayne, and I are big fans of your channel. We appreciate the content that you give us. Thank you for allowing us into your lives and letting us live vicariously, um, the, live through you, the Disney dream. We are happy for you both for the little baby boy, Thank and you. we uh, look forward to watching him grow up in a very Disney household. I understand what you went through to get to this place. Um, oh, because because uh, Stacy has PCOS, and I have never been able to conceive, but I wanted so enjoy this little miracle that you and Tim have created. Um, that's real, very sweet. Thank you. Um, we have enclosed a couple of things that I made for him. They won't do much good now, but hopefully he'll grow into them. So she made this little blanket with the little, which this is um, like, how do you, how do you make stuff like this? Like I, I always, yeah, I always wonder like, how do people have, how do you do this? But it's like a little Mickey head, like a little squishy Mickey head. And then it is on like a blanket with other little Mickey heads. That's really neat. Yeah, so it's like a, um, and he has a couple of these that are smaller that he loves. So I think he'll really like this. And then also. Oh, it's a hat. Yeah, this is so cute. That's a fun hat. How Does that have a little brim it? too? Yes, like how adorable is that? Um, and this is great because I think this will fit him by the time it's like cooler this year. But like, isn't that so adorable? Yeah. That's too cute. Oh, we wanted to tell you guys, does anybody remember what? when we went to Epcot one day and Jackson needed a hat, so we bought him a hat and it was huge on him. Oh, it was like a little Mickey. It was a, like a little baseball cap with Mickey ears. He fits into it now. Yeah. His head is like, it's getting big. His big head. You got a big head. <laughs> so thank you again to Stacy and Dwayne for sending these. This is very nice. Um, few questions that we're getting. Somebody said, how did I cut the holes in my neck mask? Or in, oh. my, in my mask and that was we showed that in the video right yeah well no you didn't show yourself cutting them that's what i was like why oh. didn't you show them you cutting them gotcha because i needed two hands to do it well <laughs> um but i just used a razor knife to like but i think they wanted to see like how you did it okay like i know that you're like oh it's so easy i just did this but they uh, they didn't see it gotcha okay i'm sorry um so then we also got and this was friends of ours were in the villages and um, they somebody ran into them that watched our videos and knew who they were. And they were like, oh, we have this stuff for the trackers. We give this to them. And so they gave us this. It's like a little golf cart from the villages. 
And then they also gave us like a little onesie for the baby to wear um, that says I'm kind of a big deal in the villages. And so I thought that was really funny. So thank you very much for thinking of us. Oh, all the golf clubs are like individual? Yeah, they like come out, I think. That's pretty nuts. <laughs> yeah. Um, but thank you so much. So we did get the golf cart and we did get the onesie and we just wanted to say thank you. We appreciate it. It was very nice. I don't think they actually come out, but this is... They like come up a little bit. They move. Did not expect that. Oh. Oh, so this was... I ran into somebody at um, Hollywood Studios. Okay. And this was a, a note that they gave me. And then they said that they wanted to make this for Jackson. See if I can get it in there. Where's my face? There it is. It's like a cross stitch with his name and everything. On little sailboats. That's really cute. Yeah. And like when he was born and what time it, he was born and how Aww. tall and how much he weighed. That's really cute. I like that. It's really neat. Oh no. Where is Jackson? <gasps> He's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is from... Um... Oh, they didn't... Did they not put their names? They didn't put their names. Oh, no. So it says from Two Mouse Geeks. So I think maybe that's their channel name, possibly. But it said, congrats on your new bundle of joy, making you guys officially about three. I hope you are beginning to adjust better, even with all the ups and downs of the beginnings of parenthood. Um, the bad makes you appreciate the good even more. My son started watching you guys at five years ago. When you were shy of a hundred thousand subscribers, wow! It's so, it's so interesting and like strange to remember, just to think how long we've been doing this. Like I don't really, it doesn't feel like we've been doing it that long. Yeah. Like for them to be like five years ago, that seems like such a long time ago. Um, but yeah, we've literally been doing this for over ten years, so it's just so, it's just been a very long time. Um, we watched the biggest majority of your videos since then, even a few from back in the beginning. You gave a shout out to us after you surpassed 100,000. We sent you a postcard to help you get your first award. And oh, thank you. Yeah, we have finally met Tim twice now. Hopefully we can meet Jen and Jackson someday in the future. It was a pleasure to get to get a pic with Tim both times. This gift of a onesie was just a little something I thought would be fun for Jackson to wear. And it is very cute. Move your head behind it. Oh, sorry. How did they do this? It looks like it's tie-dye. Is it tie-dye? Yeah. It's kind of like splatter paint tie-dye, though. That's cool. Yeah. Huh, I like that. You might actually still be able to fit into this. It says 6 he, to 12 months. No, he definitely can, for sure. Um, I'm making a cross-stitch birth announcement. So that's the picture that we showed you. And it would be awesome to give it to you guys... Oh, that's funny. Around his first birthday, which is like literally not far away now. Right. Which is just nuts. I'm sending a pic of what the cross stitch looks like, which we showed you. Keep up the great work. We enjoy your videos. Sometimes the home vlogs are just as important um, as you need downtime. Well, that is so sweet. Thank you so much. So this is from Two Mouse Geeks. They didn't put their name on here, so I don't know their names. Um, but thank you so much to Two Mouse Geeks. We really appreciate this. And the cross stitch is really cute. And the onesie is really cute. Um, Tim, do you think it's 100% safe in Disney World? No. No. I mean, nowhere is 100% safe. Yeah. There's... Um, but I think that they have the best restrictions as far as it being safe. Like, it is well, safer than the grocery store because not everybody in the grocery store is wearing a mask. And... But Universal is also doing a really great job. Yeah, Universal and Disney are both doing Yeah, well, I don't know about Disney yet, but Universal is doing a fantastic job. And uh, everybody else, like... Sorry, I got distracted. Universal is doing a great <laughs> job, and everything that I've seen about Disney seems like they're doing... Yeah, home is 100% safe. Which is why we've been staying home so much. Um... Because we, it's just, we can kind of control the environment here, you know? Ooh, somebody says, what's a good cheap camera that you recommend for a beginner vlogger? And it just depends on what you mean by cheap. Because I think that um, G7X Mark II is good. The um, ZV-1 Sony is good. Mm -hmm. And those are under $1,000, but not cheap. So... 
So these are really fun. These are from Kara from Kentucky. Sent these over from Shop Disney. And these are little baby shoes. Huh. Sorry. These are so cute. They're like little Mickey moccasins. Those are fun. Yeah, these are awesome. So these would be really fun summer shoes. Oh, they're water. They're like water shoes. They feel like a wetsuit. Oh, uh, yeah. I love that. Well, thank you so much, Kara. Huh. Yeah, those are really cool. I thought maybe it would say what they are. I think, I don't know, they're like moccasin, but they feel like water shoes. Yeah, these are fun. Yeah, I like those a I lot. I wonder if I'll fit in these. I think you will. He's got pretty big feet. Yeah, <laughs> but thank you so much to Kara. These are really cute. We appreciate that. Super fun. Ooh, somebody says no face mask required in Australian theme parks. See, that? Which, that's scary. Here's the thing. It's not so scary in Australia because Why? they are, have a handle on it. Like cases are dropping. They just had a scare in Sydney. Mm -hmm. How many cases do you think their scare was? 100. 194. Oh, really? Yeah. And ours is like 11,000. 11,000. <laughs> gotcha. Um, so this next one is from Jeff. I just saw your big announcement and I wanted to send big congratulations. I welled up watching your video at my office. This couldn't happen to a more deserving couple and I wish you lots of love and happiness. And as you, as you, what does that say? Oh, bring, as you bring a mini tracker into the world, there's a huge community of love waiting for him or her. So this was very sweet. Thank you so much to Jeff. And I wanted to show you the card is the, I think it's the Griffith Park carousel. Yeah, or I think a, so. or a, a carousel, carousel yeah. yeah. But it reminds me of the Griffith Park carousel. This is cool. Looks like something in uh, San Francisco, though. There's like a bridge there. They're from Washington, D.C. Oh. And oh, it doesn't say? and the... the um, stamp is Mr. Rogers? Yeah, the stamp is Mr. Rogers. This is really cool. I wonder if I can show it to you. It has a Mr. Rogers stamp. That's cool. I've never seen that before. Thank you to Jeff. This is very sweet. I love that. Um, a community of love. Yeah, I like, I really love that. Uh, all right. So this next one is from Lisa. There are zero COVID cases in my local hospital. Zero. Really? Wow. I guess that depends on where you are. Yeah. I wonder what like country are you in or what? They're in Wales. They're in Wales. Okay. I think. I think that's the person that said they were from Wales. Oh, uh, Kitchy Travels says that Mr. Rogers' movie is great if we haven't watched it. So we haven't watched it. And I think that we... Um, do, I just don't want to cry. I feel like I'm just going to like cry a lot if we watch it. So we need to watch it. But I need to be in like the right headspace. You know what I mean? Oh, so, somebody says, will you hit any rides when you go to Disney? I might hit like outdoor rides. Yeah. Um, I definitely won't do indoor rides. Like, I'm not going to ride Haunted Mansion or anything like that. Right. Or Dinosaur, which thinks because I really like Dinosaur. It makes me, like, I I, I hope that when I get to go back, because we're not, I'm not going to be able to go back until I'm, like, I think till I'm done breastfeeding Jackson, really. Yeah. Like, I want to wait. I don't know. Don't hold me to that. I'm not sure. But I definitely know that Jackson won't be going back anytime soon. Right. Um, and I think that when I go back, I would like for it to be normal, you know, like I want to be able to ride the rides Yeah. and I don't think yeah. I, I wouldn't be able to do that right now. Um, so this one is from Lisa. She says, just imagine all you have to look forward to with your new baby boy, like how to give bear hugs, how to wish upon a star. Just imagine all you'll feel when he hugs you. Good night. Hearing sleepy time wishes each night and wishing you and your new son wonderful moments to share and magical dreams to enjoy. Oh, congratulations nice. from Lisa from South Carolina. Wow. So yeah, it was a, um, a Winnie the Pooh card. Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. So thank you so much. That was very sweet. What's the difference between indoor and outdoor rides? Uh, airflow. Yeah. So when you're outside, you're not in a confined space. Like they've been talking a lot about air conditioning units about yeah. how like if you're inside and you're in, you know, with a bunch of people inside, even with masks on, you're the, are uh, the, the 
uh, moisture particles are still in the air and they're not like it's just like when you when you paint a room or something they're like use in a well ventilated area yeah like it's just like that just think about if you light a candle in the middle of a room you it smells you can smell the smell mm -hmm. of the candle versus if you lit a candle outside you wouldn't be able to smell that candle right because the air is just escaping everywhere right so um somebody asked and i didn't see the name Shoot, I, I, it, darn, I lost it. It was a good question, though. Oh, they were asking about the um, bird feeder. I think, yeah. I think maybe your name was Peter, possibly. Um, but they were saying that they're, they can't get the squirrels to stay out of their bird feeder. Gotta get that spicy bird food. Yeah. That's the only thing that we found that works. Well, I mean, that's the only thing we tried, and it worked right away, so. Um, Brittany said that they just donated to their uh, diaper bank. So thank oh, you. Oh, very cool. Yeah, thank you for doing that. That was something that... Um, I read that some, uh, I think it was Erica sent me a message and I was, I had never heard of the national diaper bank. And so I was reading about it and, um, I really like what they're doing and it's important what they're doing. So thank you for donating. I've heard that AC filters help, but I don't know about that because AC filters have to be, I think there has to be a spe spe specific kind of AC filter to filter out a virus because viruses are very small. So like with our um, air conditioning unit that we got, it has the UV. Yeah, we have a UV light inside of our air conditioner, so it would filter out the virus. It would kill the virus. And I think that's what you need. Yeah. Right? And I read an article about converting AC units to that. Like that could be the new normal is all businesses have to convert their AC units to like HEPA air filters with a UV light, mm -hmm. which uh, we have ionic air filters with a UV light. I'm kind of glad that we did that before the virus because I feel like now they're going to price gouge. Yeah. Like I think now it's going to be really expensive to do that. And we did Which it. Which it like, already is because those filters, I got like six months worth of filters and it was like $150 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it was pricey, but I think it's worth it. Um, So Lisa also sent a box over and she sent over this guy. Does Where's, he do something? Yeah, he... That's all you oh, get. for Jackson, because it's Jackson's birthday. Um, she also oh, sent this over... this is fun. This is so sweet. And it's little hands crinkle. Yeah. That's very sweet. Um, also sent over a elephant beanie baby. So oh, this yeah. one... You know how beanie babies have names? This one is called Sahara. Sahara. And it says, I have feet and bigger ears, but don't you worry. Have no fears. Something else sets me apart. It's my kindness in my great big heart. Oh, that's an adorable beanie baby. I love that. And then they also sent over this, I don't know what this is, like a polka dot dog bear? It's like a Christmas bear dog. What do you guys think? Christmas bear dog? Christmas bear dog. And then Lisa also sent over some little onesies. Oh, those are fun. For Jackson. Yeah, these are really cute. So thank you so much, Lisa. I really appreciate that. That's so sweet. Look at this one. What is it? I'm bears? not sure. I feel like they're capybaras. I think they're just bears. Are they bears? Yeah. Very cute. Very cute? Very cute. And this oh, and one? Then, like elephants and yeah, monkeys these are super and cute. giraffes. Thank you so much, Lisa. This was very sweet. Jackson loves giraffes. He loves giraffes. Oh my goodness, sorry. I'm trying to like get everything. Okay. All right. Pause for Moss said, I finally got the notification in time. Nice. Tim and Jen, do you know sign? Like sign language? Some, not a lot. Sorry, my nose is itchy. Would you ever get Club 33? I don't know it's pretty expensive oh my goodness this is so okay cool let me see so this next one is from suzanne um greetings from the shark bite capital of the world new smyrna beach congratulations on baby boy tracker i hope you continue to do well for your family including your baby bean um, um i know i'm trying not to cry as much when we talk about bandit i think over time it becomes easier to not cry, but it's still very sad. Like I still am super sad about it. 
Oh, um, somebody says their two-month-old is laughing whenever Tim talks. Oh, really? Hello there, two-month-old child. <laughs> um, so, while I was out and about, I turned a corner and there was a bath item I just had to get. And I found the bibs, so she sent over these bibs, which are actually, like, so cool because they have little teething things on the bottom yeah and they're from nubby too which we've been getting a lot of nubby stuff recently yeah. now that he's starting to get now that he's got teeth and it's got a little he loves his banana right now so there's yeah. another one too that's awesome i think um, it's interesting that all of the like teething things are uh bananas this is actually really okay so in the last home vlog we talked about what are we going to do with like getting jackson in the bathtub and so suzanne sent this over this is so cool. It's like a little pool that you put in the bathtub. Show the back. I think the back might be a better showing of it. But it's like a little inflatable tub that you put in the bathtub and you can put like the, um, like the soap, the and, soap stuff in yeah, there. and everything. And then it also has this, which shows if the water is like too hot or too cold, I guess. This thing right here, yeah. So it's a Mickey Mouse inflatable safety bathtub. That's so cool. Huh, well that's exciting. Um, I made... And it's suction cups in place. Oh no, it's suction hang by suction cup or a hole to air dry. Huh. Yeah. That's awesome. I love that. What a good idea. So maybe we'll have to try that. I feel like he would really like that. Yeah. That's awesome. We'll give it a try. Yeah, and because I feel like he's big enough now, he can sit up enough now. So um, I made the rice socks. They should be kept in the freezer for bumps and bruises. Rice socks. Or be kept... Oh, you can microwave it for a minute for aches and pains. And they said, congratulations and best wishes on your blessing from above. May your baby bring much happiness and may your home be filled with love. A new baby. Oh, sorry. I wasn't paying attention. I have to... A new baby. So thank you, Suzanne. This is awesome. This is like... I'm really excited to try the bathtub. And I think that Jackson is going to love these. So thank you very much. Oh, Governor Como mandated those special filters for large shopping areas. Oh, did he? That's interesting. I mean, I think that's good. Have you seen The Floor is Lava on Netflix? Not I haven't. Yet. Everybody but talks about it though. Is it a game show? Yeah, I think it is. That's pretty interesting. I guess it was filmed at an old mall. Oh, was it? Yeah. Huh. Can you get it? Our hamster Teddy enjoys watching you guys from his ball. Oh. I love that. Um. Oh, here we go. Oh. A gift for you. So this is from... Let me, let me see this. Okay. Unwrap the present before opening this envelope. Unwrap the present? Yeah, but like maybe look here. To Tim and Jen, congratulations. Here's a gift for your baby boy from the Willis's. And it's in like a... It's in a gift bag. Yeah. Let's see who can figure out what it is first. Oh, they're bodysuits. Oh, and they'll fit him right now, which is awesome. They're his size right now, so... Oh, how cute. Oh, these are fun. Yeah, these are super cute. Oh, and they're sleeveless. Are they sleeveless? Oh, no, no they're not. They have not. little okay. tiny sleeves on them. Oh, look at this one. You'll like this one. Oh, daddy's sidekick. That's cute. Heck yeah. Um, this one is adorable. It has a little monster. It, and it says, says adorable. adorable. I love it. This one. What does it say on it? All kinds of awesome. Aww. I like this color too. Yeah, it's like super bright. Look at this one. It's like all dinosaurs. the little dinosaurs. Heck yeah. Super cute. And oh, this one's fun. It just has like a little pocket. Oh yeah. I love it. That's nice. This was so sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, so thank you to the Willises. Super suits. Where that... are my super suits? <laughs> oh, we haven't seen the Florida Project. We need to watch that. Oh, yeah. That was another one that I didn't want to see because I didn't want to cry. Oh, somebody was saying um, that COVID cases in PA are either stable or slightly on the rise. Ours are a little bit strange right now because it was 11,000 and then it dropped down to 6,000. And uh, 
I'm interested to see what it'll be today. Well, but we were talking about it this morning and you said that it was because of the holiday weekend, right? Yeah, it was because of the holiday weekend that it went down, but then the next day there were no lines at the testing centers, hmm. which I thought was very strange. Okay, so this one. Christmas is sorted now. <laughs> Um, the, it's really good, but a bit depressing, the Florida project. Oh. So that's why I was like, I don't want to watch it and cry. Somebody said, what did they say? They said something about a uh, Mickey blanket on Instagram. Did we post a Mickey blanket on Instagram? Um, I mean, we got a Mickey blanket in this, in this mail blog. Is that what they... I don't know. They were saying, where did you get the Mickey blanket that you posted on Instagram? Oh, um, the one that we took his, remember we brought him outside and we did the, um, Oh yeah. We got that from Target. Yeah. That was from Target from, honestly, it was probably from two or three years ago. And it yeah. was like there, they did a Mickey summer collection and it was from that. It was from the Mickey summer collection. So I don't know if you can still find it. It might be something you have to get on like, um, eBay now because it's definitely not available in right. the store anymore. Yeah. Um, if you can find it though, it's so, the print is so cute. It's adorable. So this is from Disneyland Paris. Let's see. Ooh. Disneyland Paris. Oh, do you want to show the... That's nice. It's very cute. And it says it's from, greetings from Belgium, from, um... Cathania? Katharina? Katarina, maybe? Dear Tim and Jen, congratulations with your magical wonder on the way. Here's a little gift from, is this that Katarina? Katarina? Yeah. Of Minnie's Adventures. It came all the way from Disneyland Paris. You guys are, you guys inspired me to start my own YouTube channel, so thank you very much. So their channel is Minnie's Adventures. Yeah. What is that? It's their card. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So they sent over um, a program from the Festival du Roy Lion de la Jungle. This uh, is cool. Uh, I think it's Festival of the Lion King. No, I mean, yeah, it is. But it's like the... the oh, like the Times Guide? Yeah. Like in all in French. And then also a guide to the Disney Parks. Uh... Oh, oh yeah, the maps. The map and okay. everything. This is cool. That's neat. Yeah. I don't think I've ever looked at a map of Disneyland Paris. We have the map. We can figure out where we're going if we ever go. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is from... What year is it from, though? Because I think their maps are like... It's from January to June of 2019. Right. Wow. Oh, no. I think I did this wrong. Oh, and then they sent this, too. Uh-oh, will you help oh, me? Goodness. Sorry, I did it wrong. I don't want to do it wrong. Oh, goodness. <laughs> no. Um, and then they also sent over a bag from Disneyland Paris that has... <gasps> Stop! This is so cute! Get out of here! Look how cute this is! <laughs> what is it? It's a Ratatouille, like, like suit. Like a... Like a warm suit? Yeah, this, oh, is, this is so fun. cute. And it has... This is so funny. It has like a butt flap in the back. So it's you like can a change, union suit. Yeah, you can change the diaper. This is adorable. Oh my when gosh. Venu, I, pay. I love that. Look at that. That's really and then funny. It has it's like so little, soft little too. footies. Yeah. So this oh, is perfect. Like, they have like... What are those things called? I feel like this... Um, does it say what size it is? Because I feel like this... Probably would fit him. It's 12 months. Okay. So this will probably fit him when it's cold outside. Maybe. If it ever gets cold. You know how it is in Florida. This is adorable. I love this. Thank you so much. This is so cute. Man, this is Can adorable. we call that a baby grow in the UK? Baby grow? Huh. Um, and thank you for the bag, too. This is awesome. I love the little, like, reusable bag. This is so... Did you show her a card? Uh, I did not, I don't think. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Oh, sorry. So Minnie's Adventures on YouTube. This is yeah. adorable. I love this. Thank you. 
I can't wait for him to wear that. Heck yeah. <laughs> um, isn't he in 12 months now? He is, but I think he's that... He's like between 9 and 12 months. Yeah, they're kind of a little bit too big, so I think that'll fit him when, it's, when it cools off. Which actually, it is a little bit cool now. Yeah. It's like 80 degrees outside right now. We say that. It's not. It's 89 degrees outside. Well, this morning it was like <laughs> 80 degrees. Um, have we given Jackson any egg yet? We haven't yet. Not yet. Do we have any baby onesies in our merch shop? We do. We, is everything available at baby onesies, though? I think not you have everything. To, There's a so few things that are. I think we'll update the shop so that we can p add the onesies in for all of the designs. So maybe we'll try to do that tonight if we can. Um... So, this is from Eric. Oh, that's funny. Eric said, I don't know if you remember, I sent a letter that was typed stating my handwriting was terrible. Don't worry, the rest of this letter is typed. Um, <laughs> your handwriting is, is fine, Loads. I can read it. It looks good. So, Eric said, You have brought me light when times were dark and positivity during negative times and joy so, to so many lives. Like others, you have brought that light, positivity, and joy into my life. You mean so much that every day after I watch your vlogs, it makes my day better. Oh. I know you don't ask for anything in return just to pay the price. However, you deserve more. I have enclosed a small um, gamer use swag pack. What is that? This is a shirt. Oh, wow. That's a pretty fun shirt right I there. I like that. <laughs> This is awesome. That is awesome. That's wow. really cool. Um, oh, I've enclosed a small in terms that gamers use swag package. Got it. Okay. I was confused. There should be an envelope that has a few drawings. Okay. So let's see the drawings. Okay. Oh, so they drew Marie. Oh, the wrong way. There's Marie. There's, There's Dumbo. Oops. Oh. Very nice. And then we have oh, Thomas O'Malley. Thomas O'Malley. No, wait, is that Thomas O'Malley? Yeah, okay. Kind of looks like it, right? Yeah, and then Benny the Cab. Do I have it the right way? Yeah, you had it the right way. Okay, Benny the Cab. And then back to Marie. So that's, that's awesome. awesome. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Eric. Nice work. Yeah, you did great. Um, oh, see, that's what it said. Thomas O'Malley, although he looks like Bagheera. That's kind of what I thought. That's really funny. Um, and a smaller envelope are gift cards. Thank you so much. Very sweet. My yeah, goodness. Thank you. You did not have to do that. That's very nice. Um, Sephora gift card, and then, oh, that's so funny. It's a Lowe's gift card to help with the bathroom remodel. So when he wrote this, um, we were doing, I believe, our old bathroom at our old house. Yeah. No, it couldn't have been. Was it? How do you know when this was sent? Should say. Oh, my gosh, yeah. This is when we were doing our old bathroom at our old house. Wow. My goodness. Well, now we're redoing another bathroom at our new house. So this is so sweet. Thank you. Um, the uh, Sephora gift card came with a mirror. Now you guys can see what the camera looks like. <laughs> there That's it is. actually like really smart. Thank you so much, Eric. That is so sweet. Um, oh, and then also for, for Bandit, there were some chew toys for Bandit. Oh, oh it's so that gift card. so we can get him some new chew toys. Oh, that's very sweet. And then we can treat ourselves to a small date night sometime. The last thing I bought was when I visited Tokyo Disney, my tour of Japan with my new wife. We stayed in the resort near Tokyo, no, near Disney Sea. There were a few things from Alani. Oh. Oh, that's cool. And they so sent they, a bag from Tokyo too. I love the bags. Please enjoy. I wanted to send these before you close your PO box. You guys are the best. And always hamburger dab. <laughs> oh, brother, hamburger chop. Sincerely, Eric. Thank you, Eric. This is so nice. So they sent over. Oh, oh Eric's in here. Is he? Oh, thank you. Oh, my goodness, Eric. Thank you. That was so sweet. They sent over. Oh, my gosh. This is awesome. Oh, let me just tell you something. This is so cool. This Aulani 
like shampoo and conditioner is some of the best that I've ever used from Disney. We used all of ours up, I think. Oh yeah. Because we, because we don't usually um, use these. We save them for when we go somewhere. We'll like put them in our travel bags. But these we used after we got back because we, because they're so nice. Yeah. Um, but this one is the Hawaiian sea salt, which is like the smell is so nice. But then look at these. These are from Tokyo Disney. Oh yeah. Conditioner, shampoo. What's that one? Can... Is that body wash? Uh, I think so. It says bath gel. Oh, I love that. So what do they smell like? What do the Japanese ones smell like? Let's see. This one just smells like soap. But that, I love this container though. Oh my gosh. Yeah. These are so cool. Thank you. I feel like I don't want to actually use these. I want to save them because they have the 35th stuff on them. These are so awesome. Oh, so in Japan, like they don't have napkins to cut down on waste. Everybody walks around with uh, washcloths. washcloths. Yeah. And this is a little washcloth that looks like Marie that has a little clip on it. So you can just like hook it to your bag or something like that. And then you have a washcloth no matter where you go. This is so nice. Oh my goodness. This is like bringing back all these memories from our um, Japan trip. And then this is a Marie, like a charm. I love this. Oh yeah. I love that so much. That's so cool. Thank you. And then this is, what is this? Is it like a blind bag? A toothbrush kit. Oh, is it? Yeah, do you want me to open it? Yeah, open see it. the toothbrushes? Comes with a little, oh, the Maricasta Hotel. Oh, this is from oh, the hotel. That's awesome. A little awesome. toothbrush in there and a little thing of toothpaste, which I feel like that's something that has always interested me about Japan is that they give this to you at your hotel. They yeah. give you a toothbrush and toothpaste. Like you don't have to ask for it. It's just in there. Yeah, it's in your room. That's really the nice. The toothpaste was not good when I tried it at but our hotel. It's still nice to have because we can throw. We can have this in our um, like in our, our travel bag. bag. Yeah. yeah. So I opened up the the little washcloth too. This is so cute. Look, it has like her little tail, her little bow. I love it. And then like. Oh, it like folds back up into her head. Yeah. Thank you so, so much, like, Eric. It, it this is so into nice. Like a little, a little pouch. Yeah. So then you just hang this from your backpack. These are so nice. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I like this. this a lot. Yeah, thank you for everything. Thank you for the gift cards. Thank you for the shirt. I love the this shirt. The shirt is amazing. It's it is so cool. It reminds me of when we went to the gift shop in Country Bears. They had all of these really like very American things. Like it was Mickey dressed up like a cowboy and like that kind of stuff and this reminds me of that is this where that's from i think so how cool yeah so you have to wear this soon thank you very much i will yeah i think i might wear it to the first day of magic kingdom oh you should that's really funny you should um those were amazing gifts eric thank you very much oh somebody said... oh someone said you saw that shirt in tokyo did we see it probably oh that's awesome Hi from Trinidad. I think that was in the shop. I'll have to rewatch that video. Um, have you? Th oh no. What? Someone said they're canceling their trips. Um, somebody said, thank you for uh, recommending Knives Out. It was really good. We enjoyed it a lot. Somebody asked a question about the vault and I'm trying to figure, like find it. Uh, sorry. Oh, can you guys review your Volt? Have you, and would you consider a Model Y? Yes, to both of those things. The, looking at all of the specs for the Model Y, it seems just like a cheaper Model X, which seems fantastic. Oh no, somebody says it sounds like your computer is overheating. It is definitely, <laughs> it's pushing. Oh no, how long have we been live? Uh, for an hour. Oh, have we? Yeah. So I wonder if it's just... Yeah, it's it's been been going for a while. Oh no. We do not have a Tesla. No, we have a Chevy Volt, but they asked if we would consider a Model Y, and yes. So, um one of the boxes is I thought it was from you guys. Um it was actually our plushes from our dining room at our old house. Yeah. So this has literally been sitting up here in a box for like years now. Yeah. I had no idea. I yeah. thought it was part of the mail. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. This is from when we moved. That's too funny. 
Oh my goodness, yeah. Um, so I wonder, should we save the rest for the next vlog? Yeah. So yeah, maybe we'll end with Eric's package and then we'll save. We have a few more things um, that we can open in the next one. Oh, somebody said, what's the, between, what's the difference between the Volt and the Bolt? The Bolt is full uh, electric and the Volt it has a backup generator. So we have the Volt with a backup generator and um, yeah. I, the next car that we get, I want it to be full electric though. Yeah. And we need to get a larger car for Jackson because we've been having a hard time with, um, with fitting all of the stuff in there. Like the stroller takes up the entire trunk in the Volt. We, so when we bought the Volt, we weren't thinking that we would ever need more space. Right. We never thought like, oh, we're going to have a family. We never thought that we were going to need room for, um, Jackson stuff so we definitely need more room now <laughs> yeah so we've been um, uh do they still make the volt or and the bolt or no they only make the bolt still they don't make the bolt anymore no they stopped making the volt when did they stop making the bolt last year i think oh really yeah sorry i'm gonna grab the baby okay sorry the baby's waking up um yeah so i've been looking at tesla's and then the Model Y, and then I was looking at the Mustang, which I think that the, like, the, the issue is Tesla's been at it the longest. And so they have the most stuff, like, as far as electric cars go. You don't need a special outlet in the garage. Oh, we looked at the Leaf. It's just too small still. Like, we're looking for something uh, a little bit bigger. Uh, the Volt is still a great car, yes, but oh, the Model X is just too expensive. That's why we're thinking of the Model Y because it's like it's less expensive. It's still kind of expensive, but it's less expensive. Um, and so the Volvo, the only one they offer in full electric is the XC40, and I feel like that's not quite big enough. My boss has a Tesla and loves it. It's just pricey. Yeah, we've talked to a bunch of people that have Teslas and they all love their Teslas. Uh, Cybertruck would just be out like way late, way too late for us. Subaru, I don't think Subaru has an electric, do they? Also, the other thing is everybody that, all of these companies that are producing electric cars now that are not Tesla, they have a really low range on them. Like Tesla's pushing 400 miles on their ranges, but well, so, okay. Yeah. I'd never buy Tesla because Elon Musk is terrible. Yes. Elon Musk is terrible. Um, but the only issue is like his cars are good. Like the cars are good. Say hey buddy. Here. You look like you just woke up. The buddy is here. Look at this buddy. He's like, I'm still sleepy. <laughs> The buddy is here. Hey, buddy. Oh, no, your microphone's gone that you used to grab at. Oh, no. Now what? Now there's one way up here. Do you see this one up here, Jackson? Look at this one. Whoa. Whoa. He's like, what is happening? Everything, is, everything looks a little bit different. I know. Is that mommy and daddy right there? Look over here, mommy and dada. The Audi e-tron is too expensive, too. <laughs> Isn't that like a $100,000 car? Yeah. Yeah. That's... Look at the big buddy. <gasps> See, I am a big buddy. Look at me. Ooh. Why is Elon Musk bad? Because he, um... Whoa. Tootin'. Oh, tootin'. You have any toots? He, he's... <laughs> it's so hard to explain. There's so much going on with Elon Musk right now. <laughs> How many naps does he take? He takes two a day at this point. Yeah, we. so actually it was your comments that helped us realize that we should be taking one of his naps out so that he sleeps better at night. And I feel like that helped so much. So thank you. Um, so many of you were like, maybe you need to take away one of his naps. Like maybe you need to bring him down to two naps and you were right. So how tall is he now? I don't know. We should, we should measure him again. Yeah. We usually measure him on his like monthly birthday. Um, and we didn't do that last time. 
Uh, oh, we just uh, put them in the regular pool to tire them out. Yeah. Why are you not at the park today? Because it's for cast members only. Well, I think there were some people that there were... There are cast members and guests. Yeah. But, yeah. The Durango RT has a lot of space. Isn't that the one that has, like, 700 horsepower? I don't think we need that. Yeah. Um... My aunt bought a pre-owned Tesla. Oh. That's a good point, yeah. But so we would want the SUV. Right. And even the pre-owned SUVs are very expensive. Sorry. Amy said, Tracker Farts Channel. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> it is true. Um, what about the Kia Nero? I still, think we looked at that. Didn't we look at that? We looked at, I think so. It's and still kind of small. Yeah, but the, I don't think that the, um, range, the range, yeah, the range there, wasn't yeah. that good. What is that, bud? Oh, are you going for... What is that, my bud? Say hi, everybody. Somebody said we've owned two. Two Teslas? Uh, hi. The Hyundai Kona, which I think was also too small as well. <gasps> hi, everybody. Have you considered leasing? So I feel like leasing, you're, we would be better off just like buying it. Or yeah, you lose a lot of... Uh, your money that way, don't you? What's it called? Like, it's, a, it's not an investment. Yeah. Hello. They I are, love his smile too. They're selling um, face masks at Ticket and Transportation in vending machines in case you forgot yours. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, that's smart. Somebody asked if we um, pre-open our packages before we open them up in the live show, and we don't. We just open them up in the live show, so it's all a surprise. Oh, no. They're... Um, their Florida holiday was canceled. I'm sorry. Dang. Chelsea asked, Equity. That's what, what is called. leasing? So leasing is when you... Basically like renting. Yeah, you're like renting a car and you give it back to them at the end of your lease, at the end of the term. So it's like maybe two years. Yeah, and it's cheaper than buying, but... Because you don't get to keep the car. Because you don't get to keep it, but you also um, have a limit on the amount of miles you can drive. Right. So if you go over... I had a friend in college that had a leased car... And she would drive home to see her parents, and her parents lived like two hours away. So she went over her lease by like 10,000 miles, and she owed so much money. Like there was so much extra money that she owed into the lease because she went over her mileage. So it depends on your driving, like how, oh. you, how you drive, where you drive. You do. You pay higher insurance on a lease as well. Why? Because it's not your car. Ah, okay. So, and you can't customize it. Huh. The Toyota Highlander has a bigger body. That, do they offer Ooh, the funny. Toyota Highlander in full electric? Oh, you're making some fun noises. And the hybrid Subaru. See, that's the thing is I don't... We want to do full electric, not hybrid. <laughs> Are we jumping? Are we so excited? See, we have all of our energy now because we took our nap. And we're so excited. Have we made anything in the mixer? We've only uh, just... Just cookies. Just done cookies. But it was so good. You know what I want to make is... um. Um, oops, sorry, buddy. I want to make the, um, uh, what is it called? The strawberry shortcake. Oh, yeah. Why full electric? I think because it's just... It, it's, oh, man. If you, like, once you've driven an electric car, it's totally different. And it's it's <laughs> much more enjoyable and easier. I never have to get gas. I just, like... What was the last, um, like, when we were driving, When what was, like, the most that you got out of the gas, the, the tank? 200 miles no like when we were oh when we were driving yeah the volt yeah like oh you, six six thousand miles up per tank yeah because you're using the um the battery for most of it yeah so i mean like that's awesome right yeah the model x is just too expensive it's it, very quiet yeah the thing that stinks about it being quiet though is that sometimes people will be walking in the street and they can't hear your car <laughs> Right. So you have to just kind of like creep along until they finally see you. Does Florida electricity come from fossil? No. Uh, right where most of the electricity in the central Florida area is solar and natural gas. We have a nuclear plant close by. So we've got solar, natural gas, and nuclear here. Nuclear. <laughs> Look at this little baby. So somebody was asking why we didn't name him Buddy because we call him Buddy all the time. Um I just, I think that's just like his nickname. Like yeah. he's, he's just our little buddy. Bud. Yeah. I don't know. I love, he, we do call him Jackson as well. So he knows his name um, and he answers to Jackson, but he just, he's our little buddy. He's our little buddy. 
Oh, the Volvo. So we looked at the Volvo and that was another one that was really expensive. I think it was like $80,000 oh, yeah. or something. Oh yeah, it was also really expensive. Yeah. It was very expensive and uh, it's about the same length as our Volt. Yeah, so we weren't gaining any real storage space. We were gaining it side to side and up and down, but mm -hmm. the actual trunk space on the XC40 was like, like this deep, but it was very tall. <gasps> whoa, say whoa, dad. Whoa, whoa dad. Uh, when are you going to SeaWorld again? I don't know. I need to check and see how they're doing as far as their um, masks go. Alana said his name is Jackson and he's a baby. Yeah. My teenager still answers to sausage. I love that. Sausage. I love that. Hey there, little sausage. What? Oh, DIY Mickey ears still a plan. So that is something that we talked about doing on the channel just like as a fun craft. Um, we should still do that. Yeah. Whoa. What are you looking at? Jackson you needs a my buddy as he gets bigger. Um, do you guys remember those my buddy dolls? The yeah. they were the Chucky doll was kind of based off of that. Um, where it was like my buddy, my buddy. My mom still calls me banana. Oh, I love that. See, and those are things that like they mean something to you when you get older. Like having that nickname, I just feel like it's like a fun memory you know so like him being like our little buddy i think it'll be like a fun memory for him yeah and like being a sausage and being a banana those are like fun memories right yeah kid um, sister kid, kid sister. sister i have an uncle buddy i didn't even know that wasn't his name that's funny um my dad always called me flower i love that my baby nickname was goober oh my buddy was terrifying <laughs> yes he was um, did Jackson love his baby dolls in the basket? He did love them. He loves them so much. So we had to take their little, um, they, they were in like these little sleep sacks. So you couldn't see their legs. So we took their sleep sacks off so he could see their legs. And then he realized like, oh, they're babies. Um, yeah. And he, he loves to play with them. My, my dad still calls me pumpkin seed. I love that. This is fun. It is fun. My mom calls me piglet. Tommy salami. I love that. That's awesome. My parents still call me Stink. Oh. My nickname was, hey, put that down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mom called us Poop. That's really funny. Magilla Gorilla, Goonie, Booger. See see what I mean? Like, it just means something. Boo. It's just like a... Queen. Whoa, look at this buddy. Puppy. Are you just jumping around like a little jumping guy? Are you jumping around? My wife calls me Jerk Face. <laughs> My son couldn't say his name. Oh, no, I couldn't see the rest of it. His name was Julian. Mine was Bug. Little bit. Little Bud. Little Bud. What about the Mitsubishi Outlander? Is it... Uh, it said P-H-E-V. What does that mean? Something hybrid? Something hybrid electric vehicle. Okay. Plug-in hybrid, probably. Oh, plug-in. Okay. Which we want full electric. How is the crawling? So he is, I think he's going to crawl like any day now. Seriously, yeah. like he is so close. Do you love this pillow? He's trying to use the force to get your phone. <laughs> no, I think he wants the pillow. <gasps> Whoa, what was that? What was that quick turn? What was that, bud? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Princess Consuela banana hammock. <laughs> um, <laughs> was that, that from Friends? That was a Friends thing, right? Oh, we should do a giraffe themed party. We should. So we were talking about like what we would do for his one year birthday party because we don't know what he likes yet. Um, and right now he likes giraffes. Giraffes. What are you doing? What are you doing, my bud? Yeah. Oh, you burping? Uh. Say, I'm just giving a little burp. Uh. <laughs> um, babies often army crawl on their bellies before crawling. And I think that's kind of what he, uh. oh, you're toasty ghosty. I love that. Um, I think that's probably what he will do. Oh yeah, Phoebe changed her name to that. That's right, okay. Wow. It was a Kmart Blue Special. Oh, I was a Kmart Blue Special. Blue Light Special. Um, my niece was Smelly Ellie. Her name was Alicia. Oh, that's funny. That's cute. I like that. Um, so should we <laughs> call it a day here? What do you think, bud? Should we go downstairs and play? Yeah, you want to play? Should we go play with our toys? You want to go play with your baby dolls? Yeah, our baby's in a basket. Um, <laughs> what about insert non electric <laughs> vehicle here? <laughs> Are you showing everybody all the noises you learned how to make? 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm showing everybody my noises. So thank you guys for coming to the live show. Yes, thank you so much. We still have, I would say, probably one more live show worth of mail to open. Yeah. And then, oh, did we, I don't think we have the camera up here. No. Oh, I'm sorry. So we won't get to show you guys in the vlog this time because we didn't bring the camera. Whoa, buddy. Um, but in the next one, we'll definitely do that. Yeah. So um, sorry about that. I feel bad that we didn't do that. But Squish those cheeks. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Thank you so much for coming. Um, but thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out and we appreciate all the mail that you sent in and we appreciate you hanging out with us while we open the mail. He's ready and to party. Jackson says, it was so good to see you today. He just says, meh. So thank you guys so much. Yeah. Thanks for coming and hanging out. And we'll see you guys with another video tomorrow. And we'll, we'll see you with another um, mail vlog next week. Maybe yeah. next Tuesday we're going to shoot for Tuesday? Yeah. We'll see how our schedule goes, but we'll definitely have one next week. Thank you guys so much. Bye. bye. Say bye. Oops, I clicked the wrong bye. button. Sorry. There we go. Okay, bye. Bye.